See, India is the largest uh, producer of the vaccine for the entire globe. If you look at number of doses that is produced by, by uh, any world in the world, is India is the largest producer of the vaccine. And we produce a vaccine and we supply it to the entire Africa, Latin American market, UNICEF, Gavi, and all other Southeast Asian countries. But the problem here in India is uh, we are able to produce, but our own Indian system is not being fully utilized, the, our capacity. So we as a manufacturers, together as a jointly, we formed called Vaccine Manufacturers Association of India, where both Indian company as well as multinational companies are unitedly. We want to take up an issue of a certain policy issues. How a children in a rural area and a city can be saved from a vaccine preventable diseases. Take example in Karimnagar or Kamma, some, some of the people are fever disease, fever, they get admitted into the hospital. Nobody knows, most of the cases it will turn out to be either malaria or typhoid. If it is a typhoid, it can be preventable. But the government should, but we'll forget about it. Next year again, uh, next year when the disease comes, again we'll talk about it. We'll forget it until then. So we, as a manufacturers, we want to educate the government on certain delivery system, on the disease burden, and also the government should more focus should be focused on expanding the vaccine. For example, India today we are coverage is only less than 55 percent, whereas Bangladesh 95 percent coverage, Pakistan has got a 90 percent coverage, and China has more than 90 percent coverage. China, whereas India less than 55 percent, and largest vaccine is produced right in India and we are not able to reach. Main cause one, I think I will blame the manufacturers also because the manufacturers have not, you know, united. We are all working separately uh, with a business interest, but not look at the global picture and a society line at a large. If you look at society large, it's a time that we know we all jointly uh, together and take a common cause, not our priorities of each promoting each vaccine. I don't want to promote my company vaccine or somebody else vaccine. We want to look at it jointly how we can put an efforts where the children can be saved in this country. No, we, we, are, we are going to educate the government also. We are going to meet the Prime Minister's office, we are going to meet the Health Minister, educate them and give us an opportunity to brief you what the scenario of the Indian manufacturers is in terms of technology, in terms of delivery system, in terms of R&D capabilities. Like a good example of pandemic flu, we were importing a pandemic flu vaccine. Just Government of India helped us by giving a 10 crores, 10 crores to us. Okay, just by giving 10 crores, that motivated us. Now today, uh, three, four manufacturers were able to give delivered the pandemic flu vaccine. Whether the vaccine is important or not, I'm not questioning. But at least we have preparedness. We are able to deliver a technology at a public health point of view. We want to help the government to think broader view on how to save the children, how to save the children in the country. That's all. And you know, I was telling you know, I was telling one of the important. The healthcare budget in India is 25,000 crores. Out of that, Indian government is purchasing only 500 crores. We all feel that you know India is pushing too many vaccines. It is not. We are only say five vaccines are used in India. Five or six vaccines is used in India, not more than that. Whereas 500 crores, that means 0.2 percent of our healthcare budget is spent on vaccine. 